what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be cleaning up my mobile home and taking down all of my christmas decorations so i pretty much took everything down already but my tree is still up and i'm just so happy to see it go so i already started in my room I did get these new pillows with the sparkles on them and then to go with I got this oversized pitcher with the glitter all over it my husband did get this for me for Christmas and I absolutely love it today we're just gonna start in the living room by undecorating the tree I usually start cleaning in my kitchen and then make my way to the back of my mobile home but we're starting in the living room today and getting this tree down and out on the deck because I'm so sick of vacuuming up sparkles and the fake snow. And I already knew what I was in for because when I put the tree up, the living room was covered in the fake snow and glitter and it took me two days just to vacuum it all up. So I knew once I was taking the tree down what a mess it was going to be. So I just wanted to go ahead and get it over with. And for those of you wondering why I'm using a trash bag to put all of my ornaments in, that is because I'm going to be going to the store and picking up some totes to store everything away in because the ones from last year just need to be replaced. They're so beaten up and I cannot find the lids to them. So I'm just gonna store everything away in these bags until I go get those. But all the ornaments on my tree are shatterproof so I don't have to worry about any of them breaking. And then I just have a lot of ribbon on the tree but the lights stay on the tree so I don't have to worry about taking those off since the tree is pre-lit. I love looking at the tree during the evening and the nighttime because it just adds a glow to the living room. But I'm just really happy to see it go because it is a lot to look at and I feel like it makes the living room look cluttered and then the mess with all of the fake snow and everything. So I'm just ready to get it out of here so that my living room can feel so open and airy again. And to replace the glow of the tree, I did do a little bit of shopping. And I picked me up a new little light to set in the living room so that it still feels really warm and cozy in here. And I actually got a few new things for my living room. My husband pretty much gave me money this year for Christmas and just sent me on my way shopping. And I did get me a few things for myself, but I also went out home decor shopping because you guys know that that is my favorite thing to do. And I love switching up my living room. And I swear this is the messiest part, taking down the tree. I don't even know how there's still fake snow on the tree. This is my second year with this exact tree. And I feel like it loses so much of its glitter and snow, but still the tree looks covered in it. I just don't get it. So I'm just gonna move this mirror over so that I can use the plug. And this mirror is new. I also got this with the money that my husband got me for Christmas. And I feel like it just makes the living room look a lot bigger. And I'm so happy that I found it in a gray color. And then the trim around it is a silver. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these floors vacuumed up. So pretty much I vacuum the floors until I don't see anything else on them. But I know in a couple hours whenever I go to sit down or I walk out of the room, as soon as I walk back in the room, I'll see more snow and glitter that somehow I missed. I don't know where it goes and hides, but it never fails. I'll probably have to vacuum again later on, and then I know I'll be vacuuming tomorrow as well. So this is another thing that I got for Christmas. I got these two matching vases, and they've got glitter all over them. 
and I'm just so obsessed with them. I think that they are so cute. And if you guys can't tell, I'm trying to add some silver into the living room because I feel like it'll just flow throughout the year. And then whenever Halloween and Christmas comes back up, I can always add the pops of orange and red. And of course, it'll go with the silver. And in case anyone was wondering, I got the vases at Ross and then I got the mirror at Walmart. And the picture in my room with the glitter on it, I actually got that from Burlington. And then I got the glitter pillows from Burlington as well. And so now I'm just finishing vacuuming up the rest of the living room. I got the tree box out on the deck. So hopefully that's all of the fake snow everywhere. I love glitter and all, but it drives me crazy knowing that it's all over my floors and it's just floating in the air. So I've just got to get it all up before it's tracked through the rest of my mobile home. And I also went ahead and pulled out this little table that I like to keep here underneath my windows. And I just feel like this will tie in with all of the silver that I got going on and it also matches my coffee table. So I'm just gonna clean this off really quick with Windex. And this is the light that I was telling you about earlier that I bought. I also found this at Ross as well. And it is just so pretty just adds the perfect glow to the living room so I also got these little crystal vases as well and on the inside it looks like they have glitter on them which does not come off so I'm really happy about that that way they won't make a mess so this is what this little corner looks like and now moving on to my couch so the throws that go on here are actually in the washer I decided to put the pillows back on here and now I'm going to clean off my coffee table. I did get new stuff to put on here as well. All of this came from Ross and then the rug that goes underneath came from Walmart. So I usually go with area rugs that are a little bit bigger but the bigger they are I feel like the more dirtier they get and then the more I have to vacuum them. So I feel like this little area rug is just the perfect size to put underneath my coffee table. And I feel like it's going to last a lot longer. And then I got this little globe with a flat top that I like to set my candle on. And you can lift the top off and it comes with a little strand of lights that are battery operated. So you can turn it on and the globe lights up. It is so cute at nighttime. And I did find that at Ross as well. And so the last thing that I need to do in here is just mop up the floors. So I've got my Swiffer out. And then I've just got my Lysol cleaner. And I thought that the floors really needed to be disinfected. Because we did have some traffic in here after Christmas. And I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But to the side of me... My daughter got a new LOL house for Christmas and it is so big, like it's bigger than what we thought it would be. So we actually have to make room in her bedroom for it. So for now, it's just gonna sit right over here in the corner. It may just stay there. So that way she doesn't feel alone in her room if she's playing with it, she can just sit out here.
Okay, so moving on to the kitchen. This is where I usually start, but I just couldn't stand looking at the tree anymore, so I started in there. But I've got all of my Christmas stuff in here already put away. But I saved the tree for last and I knew that I wanted to record it for you guys because I know someone out there needs the motivation to get up and take theirs down as well. I usually take my tree down after New Year's or sometimes I take it down the night of Christmas if I'm not too busy and we don't have places to go. But I just put it off this year. I don't know why. Honestly, I feel like it's because I liked the glow of the tree. It just makes the living room feel so cozy. And also, I wanted to show you guys real quick this little plant that I got to set over here in this corner. Since this corner is pretty bare. Other than that, I don't really have anything new here in the kitchen. I like to keep it pretty bare and clutter free in here. So I'm just finishing up wiping off the countertops with the Lysol. I do have a few dishes to do. So we're going to go ahead and just get them out of the way. And yes, I do have the window open behind the sink. It's really windy out today, but it's like in the high 60s. So it feels really good outside. And since I'm taking down all of the Christmas decor and I'm just freshening everything up in here, I feel like my mobile home needed to be like aired out just for like a fresh start. And before I forget, I just wanted to thank everybody who checked on me and my family with all the bad weather that happened here in Kentucky and all the tornadoes that happened. Thankfully, we were not affected by any of the storms. We did have a very long power outage, but it could have been way worse. So I just wanted to thank you guys for keeping us in your thoughts and prayers. It really did mean so much to us. Okay, so now that the dishes are done, I'm just going to let them dry before putting them away. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean up around the sink. And then I'm going to start clearing off our little Allen. This little Allen has become a catch-all. And it's really not that big, but this is where everybody wants to set their stuff. Okay, and the last couple things that I need to do is just sweep up the floor. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a lot of fake snow in here all over. And then there's also some glitter. I'm not sure how it gets tracked all the way in here. I'm guessing it's because of my pets and Harmony. She's been running up and down through the mobile home today, so that's probably why. But I'm just giving the carpet a really good vacuum because a lot of that glitter and stuff hides down in the carpet. And then it won't reappear until tomorrow. And then by that time, it'll be all over the floors again. So yeah, I'm just vacuuming everything up. And then I'm going to go in with my Swiffer and the Lysol. And I'm just going to disinfect my floors in here as well. And then that is the last step that I'm going to be doing today. 
I want to thank everybody for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope this video helped motivate you guys. Get done whatever it is that you all need to do. Maybe take all your Christmas stuff down or just clean your house. I hope everybody had an amazing Christmas. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.